great. I finally finished my project. Now I need to make a negative. That's not where you make negatives. We should help him. We should. Let's go. Oh, no! Leave the following buttons alone. This one, that 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 one, and finally this one. These buttons are preset, so you don't want to be messing with them. Thank you, Luke, for that helpful hint. Thank you, Luke, for that helpful hint. We need to get the film out now, so let's turn the lights off. This is where you get your film. See? Make sure that all film is put away and closed in here before you use the camera. Okay. When you put the film in, you want to lift this up. And you want to make sure before you put it in here that the emulsion side is down. And that's the light side. Alright. Now, you want to lift up the mat. Put it on here, underneath it. You want to make sure you put it underneath it. And you want to make sure it lines up evenly with the mat. There's little markers on here where you can tell. All right. So we close this, and this this black thing right here, you want to slide it over. Come over here where it says back, and just turn it on. All right. And then you want to make sure that these two scales. Number one is always at 100. If they're not on 100, you just use these cranks right here on the side and crank it. Well, we're all set now. So Tim, why don't you get the light button on the lower right hand corner? For safety reasons, we will not be turning the light on here. The light is intensely bright, and if you look at it with your eyes, you will be harmed. So whenever you're doing that, be sure not to look directly into the light. Sarah, I think I need a quick overview. Okay, Tim, let's go. Okay, remember, put the paper under here, and you want to make sure that the sensitivity scale is almost exactly in the middle, as close as you can get. For the f-stop, you want to make sure it's on f-stop 32. That's where Mr. Jones likes it. Never touch any of these buttons. Make sure this is on 15. Check the two camera settings and make sure number one is at 100. And if it's not, you just use these cranks to change it. Make sure that the lights are off and your safety lights are on when you handle the film. Make sure that the drawer is always closed and the film inside is wrapped up tightly. Make sure the film is under the mat, emulsion side down, and lined up with the grid lines. Then you want to slide this over, make sure that the vacuum is sealed, and then just turn on the vacuum. And then when you're ready, just press this button and you're all set. Oh good, Tim just filmed this for me. Well, I don't know how to develop it. 
Don't worry, I'll come and help you. Sarah, I don't know which tree to start in. Well, first you want to start in the developer, which is the furthest to the left. Okay. Now you want to make sure that's only in there for two and a half minutes. Oh good, our two and a half minutes are up. Yeah. So now let's put it in the stop bath for 30 seconds. So now that this has been in here for 30 seconds, we can bring it over to the fixer. And you want to leave that in there for five minutes. Now this has been in here for five minutes, we can put it back in the stop bath for another 30 seconds. has to be up and the emulsion side of the negative has to be down. So you put them on top of each other just the way I told you to and you put them underneath the glass. The first thing you need to do is seal the glass. So you take these levers and you twist them. The next thing you want to do is turn on the vacuum with this little light switch looking thing. The next thing you want to do is to set the timer to 10 seconds. Make sure it's on light one setting. So then all you have to do is flip the switch and press the timer button like this. And when that's done, turn off your vacuum, unseal the glass, take the film, and bring it over to Tim, since you almost know all the secrets of the dark room, they'll be coming for you. What do you mean? They're already here. <laughs> <laughs>